Hi, this is David, Richter Scale Studios. Welcome to part four of the uh, Ultramarine Sergeant. Um, thank you for uh, keeping pace with my little series here. Obviously, you've seen the Sergeant. I've done a little bit of painting on him already. I might be screwing up that chest eagle right now because I'm going to um, base coat the armor with the airbrush. And I've showed you this before. This is the Ultramarine mix. It's just uh, Imperial Blue and Ultramarine Blue from Vallejo Gang Color mixed together to make this uh, more of a medium tone. Got a medicine cup with my uh, 85, 15% alcohol in it with that paint. And you can see how that uh, kind of swishes around in there. Let's see if I can. There, so you can see how it kind of grabs the edge, but uh, slides back down gently. So we're gonna put a really thin coat on. And we've got it in loaded in the uh, Renegade, uh, Badger Renegade Velocity. I'll show that to you real quick. I have the Chrome, I have the uh, a Sotar, and I love this brush for some reason. I like the feel of it in my hand. And we're just testing it on the little, uh, my little dry brush board here. Be nice. Uh, atomization out of the paint and we're just going to go So we got a really nice light coat now. And then we can go back into the brush and we're, you know, detailing our helmets and purity seals, but we have this nice blue coat. We're gonna do a wash on it eventually. Most likely an oil wash. Try not to affect that area of the uh, chest eagle too bad. Still holding the color there. And then we have a bionic arm, so that's going to go in with a uh, brushing of gray. And we can probably go in with another. Uh, highlight after this, lighten this up a little bit with some space wolf gray. Really nice smooth coat. Well, that is it for right now. Uh, thank you for joining me. Let's see if I can. Really nice, uh, even coat of paint. So uh, that'll be it for right now. I'm going to come in and uh, do a little more highlighting and stuff off camera, and then I'll show that to you in a bit. Thanks again for joining me. Okay, we're back. I just did some basic base coating on the uh, model. Let's see that. Let's see. With the reds, did some warm gray, uh, the scrupulous brown, or whatever that is for the uh, the golds. Uh, the cold gray for all the gray, grays, and then I hit everything with a wash just to bring up the detail. And that's usually the first step you do with non-metallic metals, then go back in with your base color and start highlighting up from there. There's the bionic arm. There we go, bring the detail. And there, this, the chest eagle's washed, and then the, uh, uh, the mechanisms underneath the chest eagles, all metal done in metal. The part of the backpack um, did the same thing basically for the uh, plasma pistol and the melted bomb. Went in with a, um, I believe it's dragon red uh, from Army Painter for the helmet and then the purity seals. 
and then we'll start highlighting those up and washing those. Those haven't been touched yet. And I haven't uh, uh, yeah, washed any of the purity seals at all yet. Let's see what we Focused. There we go. So it's coming along. Thank you for joining me, and we'll see you in the next segment. Hey everyone, we're back. Uh, we're still here on part four, working on the Marine. I just did a really quick mock-up. I really kind of wanted to see what this guy's going to look when you throw them together. I did the uh, the the Rocky head, and it didn't work. Um, I'm sorry to those people that thought that was better, but uh, this looks a little more serious, and I think with the, the hair and the skin, and um, I haven't done the, any metal. I did a little bit of the, uh, the um, non-metallic metals on the uh, robot arm, or the bionic arm, what do you want to call it? Let's get this in focus. There we go. And I love the contrast of the uh, I think I'm still not sold on the banner yet. I gotta fix it. The way it's uh, that orc heads on there, I gotta figure another way of putting it on. But uh, the look is exactly what I was going for. Let's get a good close up on it. Here we go. And the pose is totally dynamic. The way he's got that pistol, just I hit that wrist just perfect. I've done a few of these, or yeah, I've done yeah, I've done a few sergeants in the past. For some reason, I'm really a tra uh, I like doing them. The little how the uh, the different weapons you can put on them. Eventually, I want to do one that you can play with the uh, interchangeable weapons. But this is strictly going to be hopefully a uh, entrant in Golden Demon eventually when I'm done. Uh, these are just base cuts. These aren't. Uh, Nothing's been wet blended or anything on the uh, thing. Just been screwing around with the non-metallics on the belt buckle and on the arm itself. Let's see if you can see this backside. Um, I've been playing with the uh, script on the um, purity seals. Uh, basically, everything's base coated except the banner. And actually, I kind of played with the uh, metallics on the uh, melt bomb. And on the um, pistol, let me get this banner off. This thing is uh, something about this is not looking right to me. I'm using a poster attack to keep everything on. But uh, his face, I think, it really goes. Let me put that back in focus again. The face is doing really good. And there is the. Uh, let's get the gun. Let me show you the gun. I'm pull it out of there. And kind of doing some glazes and some different shades of gray. And I just put a, a little, um, I still gotta work on that. The arm I'm digging, I'm starting to dig more and more. I've kind of been working on it slowly. Really, really light coats of paint. Let's go back side here. And we got the uh, got yellowish brown ready for the golds to work on eventually. There we go. And the purity seals are turning out pretty good. Try to put some more color in on it, like some little blocks of red lettering with, with the, the um, doing a mix of um, scorched brown and black for the text, so it's not too stark, not too light. And the base has turned out already chipped it, so we're gonna go and fix that real quick. But I, this face turned out really nice. Let's see, come on, focus. There we go. So that'll be it for right now, and um, we'll see you in part five. Let's get this last. Oops, oh, I'm digging in right now. Do one little quick show over here. Yeah, the base and that color turned out really good the way I planned it. Yeah, use a color wheel. It's, um, I mean, you're not gonna get, you can't use orange and blue, but you find orange browns and use it against that blue, and it makes it pop. So uh, that's it for part four, and we'll see you in part five. As usual, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you again. Uh, real quick on this, on uh, part four, I told you I didn't like the uh, banner that much, so I redid it, took it apart completely, um, drilled out the head. And put a uh, thread through it. I think way I had it on before it was too Mickey Mouse, and actually now it looks like it's tied on. Let's see if we can get that thing to focus. There we go. 
And actually, see how it looks like rope on the pole? I put some styrene rod, attached it onto there. It looks a little more plausible. And then it's got the uh, <laughs> these bloody ropes sticking through its eye sockets going into its jaw. I think that'll look cool. A little more uh, uh, degrading to the uh, skull. So uh, that's it for the quick update. I gotta prime him and paint him. Uh, you'll probably see him in part five. So uh, thank you for joining. We'll see you again soon. Thanks.